Hey everyone, it's Stephanie with Simmerky, and welcome to a room build of a beautiful country kitchen using The Sims 4 brand new cottage living expansion pack. Thank you so much EA Game Changers for providing me with early, early access so I can get this footage for you. So early in fact that this is not the final version of the game and anything can change between now and release. Now if you missed it, I did do a build buy review where I went over all the new items as well as the debug and live edit objects. I went through world tour, checking out all of the houses and lots that came, comes with the new pack, a cast review, gameplay review, animal review, pretty much anything you could think of. And from here on out, we're going to have lots of builds and the kitchen is my absolute favorite. There were quite a few things missing from some of the other style or themed stuff. That's not the right word, like the collection. So basically, um, I kind of think of the items in terms of rooms. So the bathrooms did get a new sink and a new bathtub, but there was no shower and there was no toilet, but it's okay because we have a lot of those already. And then the living rooms didn't come with a love seat and it didn't come with a coffee table or a TV or a TV table or anything like that. And really not a lot of clutter either, but the kitchens, now this is where they really stepped up their game. Absolutely mwah, chef's kiss. One of the best kitchens we've ever gotten. They did not skip on anything here. We have new bar stools, new counters, two new fridges, a stove, two sinks, everything you can think of, and the clutter is incredible. Now, this is definitely different than the country kitchen that we got as a kit. They are very similar, but you can obviously see the differences here, and the color palette and choices in this one are absolutely stunning. I decided to go with the blue, and I mixed in some yellow, actually mostly yellow, and mixed in some blue. And blue and yellow just are really sunny, happy, fun colors. So the kitchen is a great place to come, start your day, get excited to make your meals. And another really good thing about the kitchen pack or the kitchen in this uh, pack is that the cabinets have a pretty wide variety of different styles. So they kind of give you some options so it doesn't look super repetitive. The ones with the curtains on them are really pretty and then you have the corner one, two different side pieces, which I'm not sure if I got to show those, and then the longer one. And this farm kitchen, oh my gosh, with the little chicken on it, it's just a die for. Oh, did I say yellow and blue? Oh, you know what? I think I did yellow, blue, and green. Yellow, blue, and green? I'm not sure what I did. Definitely all pastels though. And the stove is incredible. I love it. It looks like one of those old timey stones that, stoves that used to have that like the top was a counter and you would flip it up and have the burners underneath. And we did get two fridges, which I think is great. Two different options. This is maybe the more modern-ish of the two and the other one's more like, I don't know, it looks more like a wooden box. <laughs> um, there is no new trash can though, but that's okay. This one from Base Game actually goes really nicely with it. And I had a bit of a hard time kind of configuring the kitchen because I just didn't do a very standard shape because I really wanted to have a wall to play with all the different types of cabinets that we had. But at the end up in the end it actually ends up working pretty nicely. And I really, really like it. I mean even the new wallpapers that we got and the new flooring, it just flows so well. And and even though the kitchen already comes with such beautiful clutter, there is a lot of base game stuff that just goes perfectly. So I added the crates there. And here's some of the new clutter that comes with the pack. This little tea set is adorable. It's not functional if you people were asking that. Neither is the casserole dish. They're just clutter pieces, decor pieces but they bring such a homey and cozy and realistic element to the kitchens. I think it's super adorable. I really want that little crock pot just everywhere in every kitchen, on every table, on every counter. <laughs> but I made sure not to go overboard. And the range hood is really cute too. It also has a chicken like the sink has and I like it. It fits so nicely under the cabinet. It's not big or overwhelming. It's the perfect size. And here you can see I'm putting in the new wallpaper and doing a little bit of exposed brick because why not? Now I did put this bar here. It's not technically like one that's, you know, like a butcher block or anything in the middle of the kitchen, but I figured it would be more like a breakfast bar or a breakfast nook. And oh, this shelf piece too is so cute with the little pot with the heart on it. I'm just, I'm in love. I'm in love with everything that came with the kitchen stuff. It is so precious, <laughs> so precious, so adorable. And so I'm adding some coffee in here and we did have that again, base game. It had some of the nice pastel colors that went with everything in here. And this chicken I think is meant to hold chicken eggs. I'm not sure what 
the function actually is, but if that is what it's for, how, what a great way to store your eggs. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> and then I added some more clutter here with the base game coffee mugs and flowers. And we do have an individual kettle as well. So we have the one that comes with the two cups on the tray and the one by itself, which I'm so happy they gave us that option because it makes it way more versatile. And the pitcher, I have one that I use, it's clear from Debug. I think there's also a silver one in there, but to have this one that is so cute, just works out perfectly. It look nice. It looks nice, not just in the kitchen, but if you do any sort of like outdoor building, I like to put little drinks and trays on all the side tables next to the patio furniture, next to the barbecue. So that'll be perfect for that. And it went by really quickly, but we have those little jars as well that have the little fruit painted on them. Oh my gosh, I know I keep saying cute and adorable and precious, but there's no other way to describe this. It's just so wholesome and so lovely. <laughs> please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my kitchen build. And please like the video as well, because not only will it help recommend my videos to you in the future, but it'll help push them out to other people who might enjoy them as well. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe for a ton more builds using The Sims 4 Cottage Living. And I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.